Hello, please. Hello, please. Hello. Hello? These are my friends. Hello. Hello, please. These are my friends. Hello. All right. All right. I talked into my coffee mug. These are my friend's coffee mug. Mm-hmm. On brand hot. <sighs> How are you doing, Daniel? Excellent, dude. How are you doing? I'm f-ing pretty good. A little burnt out? Been busy, yeah. hey? Yeah, long weekend. I uh, went to a couple events. You worked a couple events. Worked a couple events. Yeah, with the radio station, I was hosting the charity hockey game on Saturday. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. And then today we did the, I did walk to cure diabetes, T1D, type 1 diabetes. I okay. think that's the one you're born with. Okay. I think. Anyways, I learned a lot. You guys, you can tell. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least you were supportive. Exactly. Yeah. I, I emceed that event. Actually, you were so. helping. Oh, yeah? How, yeah. How did that, how does that shake down? You just like announce net the next person or the next event or whatever? Yeah. So basically it was just out at a uh, lake and I hopped up on stage and I just kind of told them the plan for the, the day. I told them, I thanked everybody, thanked the sponsors. You just free ball that ah! or do you have to write I got a something script. down? You got it. Okay. I got a script. You, were, yeah. you had a script given to you. And, but like, I, I kind of like to for free ball part. a little bit. You know what I mean? Cause if you're staring at a script the whole time, your nose is down and it's less engaging. It's less, yeah. less, less authentic. Yeah. You just throw the odd, like, you know, if you listen to podcasts, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. These are my friends. These are my friends. These are my friends. Yeah. <laughs> What's he talking about? Wait, whoa, who said that? Doesn't make any sense at all. These yeah. are my friends. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just make it rain our business cards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, these aren't Virgin Radio business cards. Yeah, it's even better. Check it out. Yeah. Don't have to have a talk. <laughs> we had to let that guy go. Tired, but ready to go for a podcast. I'm always ready right to on. talk to my friends out there, which oh, are yeah. you. Hello. 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 Thank you. Yeah. How about you, man? Nice to hear you too. Yeah. No, I'm just chilling. I went to a sick metal show yesterday. We went downtown. I uh, went to the moon underwater to meet some people for a birthday pub crawl. Then we went on to another bar where then the pub crawl ca- caught up with us without us knowing that they were going to be coming there. So no we were like, hey, we see these guys again. What are the odds? We like went yeah. to the bar where they came to. And it was a funny little corner too, like off to the side at the canoe club where we went to, which was really nice. All of those uh, shout outs, Victoria, BC. To kill some time before the metal show at the Phoenix. Um, and we went down there and saw some early black metal and death metal. And uh, big grime Eximius was playing, which I really like. We've seen before and really like them uh, and goat hammer which i who i'd never seen before and our buddies band from locally here uh, empty chalice they're always nice. good too so no uh, shout out to those local bands it's and a great way to spend a saturday I think afternoon the grime is from i think the grime Eximia is from seattle i think i might be getting that wrong but i think so but anyway yeah super dope cool. really good night yeah man anyways okay cool okay well i'm glad to hear we both had dope ass weekends Love to hear it. And summer's coming. And it's just good. starting, man. It's just starting. Yeah, I caught up with a with a friend that I used to work with as well today, and we got super baked before this. So, hella. Forgive, forgive me if I'm a little subdued. Hey, whatever. It's, the it's, reaper. it's cool, man. It's your subdued, my overdue. Wow. Makes do. You know. <laughs> you just do a dude. <laughs> we just, just yeah, we just up, dudes. Make up a couple of dudes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Right. So I brought a list to your attention, and I'll I'll go first, and then kind of just spit out a list. Uh, I think I got off Barstool Sports. <laughs> My man over there was, was saying his five top five Nintendo 64 picks from a list. Oh, yeah. I couldn't find hit the exact list he used, but nonetheless, I found a list. And a sick list, really. It it's is. got some obscure shit that I really like on here. And that's the other thing, too. Some classics. I think so. I'll tell you my list. I, I was able to come up with a list and one of them is not on here, but that's because probably nobody has it on their list ever. But anyways, we'll do that at the end because I'm curious what isn't even on here. That you like? Oh, it, it would, it would, it would be. I doubt you would know it. I might. Well, Maybe. we'll see. So number, I'll start at number five. My number five pick off this list is Diddy Kong Racing. Is my number five game. Good call. That fucking shit is so much fun. I it is it was, fun. It was just fun, and I, I love sandbox games where it's just like you can. You know, you're you're nine. Sandbox? You're having popcorn and Jolt. You remember Jolts and those big tin cans, the energy drink. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, 7-Eleven. Remember those? Yeah. yeah, for sure. Just getting hopped up on Yolts. Yeah. Yeah. Just get Yolted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then just stay up all night with your buddies and then you're just playing. You're just killing each other. That's, we just did the battles and it was just good time. Nostalgia. That's, That's what you mean by like a sandbox kind of situation with right. the battles, right? You know, you yeah, can just exactly. You're progressing through a story. You're just okay. like, you're just killing each other a couple of times. You're like, cool. I've had enough. Let's go to bed or whatever. You know what I mean? That's sweet. Yeah. Well, yeah. 
to just to go back and forth a little bit, this is I'm just looking at this list as well. Yep. Um, if you want to intersperse it a bit, um, yeah, hell yeah. The the battle mode on Star Fox 64 is is what that reminds me of. It's Dude, super that was sick. Tight. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. I used to just wreck my friends at that shit because I knew how to do like the backward somersaults to get yeah. behind them and stuff. Like, so yeah. yeah, it was that was really fun. And then yeah. my friend Steven like played so well that he like unlocked gold mode through like all this shit. And what when you do that in Star Fox 64, you unlock in the combat mode you can be a, just a little dude like standing there instead of being a, an R wing flying or a tank rolling um, you can actually just be like the little dude either the either Peppy or Falco oh, or Fox or Slippy just standing there with like an arm bazooka that shoots as well and just like just like what? The thing and you are like super tiny and it's hard to hit in, six, in Star Fox 64 you look it up if you Tight. unlock everything you like actually get to be a little dude running around and jumping like and you're so tiny running up the little pyramids and stuff man they don't make games like they used to man that's yeah, so super fun. sick like it was it was good so yeah i can imagine the diddy kong racing had i had somebody to play with it would have been good to do the battles <laughs> <laughs> I played I played with some other people, but whenever it was that I rented Diddy Kong Racing, I just was playing by myself. And so just racing around. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, the races okay. are sick, though. And then, what's your... So, so you're, you're not going to have a list because it's too hard for you? Well, I'm just... It's it's hard for me to decide when there's so many fucking bangers on this list. Like, I, I'm just going to quickly go through this because you've sent such a good list that I'm just going to kind of touch upon a few of them as we go. But what's your what's your next one? And number four is Mario Party. Any of them. I think number... Any of them, yeah. Mario three Party 3. Mario Party 3, dude. Yeah, that's the one that's on this list. Yeah, dude. What's so special about number two is pretty dope. Just solid. I don't know. It was maybe one of the fir- maybe when they first really got their shit together. The mini games down and shit. Maybe the mini games were tight. Yeah. It was just one that I remember having fun with because we rented it. I remember my sister and I rented that, and it was super sick. And yet again, one of those games where you just hang out, you just you play. It's like board game. Like you, mm-hmm. you play around, and then you're like, "Cool, I'm done. I'm yeah. out." Yeah, Mario no Party Three is on this list. Yeah. Yeah. No cool. com- low commitment. That's that's kind of my style. Like <laughs> ladies. <laughs> something I could bounce of <laughs> ladies. <laughs> oh shit. Wow. Yeah. yeah. What about you? What are you thinking? Any 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 resonate with you? Kind of that Mario Party thing, number three. Well, speaking of part like one on my like tenth birthday or whatever, or just after that, when I had actually no it would have been before that because I didn't own an N64 yet and one of my birthdays we just rented an N64 from Blockbuster and had all my friends over and it was like one of the funnest birthdays I've ever had we just played we rented Star Fox 64 and we rented Killer Instinct which I'm now seeing on this list which is reminding me of this right. uh, Killer Instinct Gold and we just fucking stayed up all night playing Star Fox and Killer Instinct Gold and it was so much fun Unreal, like, that's dude. how exciting, like, my actual birthday was exciting because we just rented a 64. That's how hyped I was about the new system coming out. That's how old I fucking am. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Sheesh. I remember back in the day. But, like, man, like, yeah, it was it was sweet. yeah like, I, I, I'm going to keep sounding like a boomer, too, by being like, they just don't make them like they used no, to. No, they don't, man. Yeah. I, I, I grew up, like, on uh, regular regular Nintendo. Like, yeah. just when I remember being, like, four years old playing regular Nintendo. Like SNES or NES? NES. NES. You know? NES. Like, actually, like, a lot of NES. And then eventually SNES. Yeah. But, uh, SNES and that's why 64 was so hype for me at, like, age 10 or whatever. 64-bit. Yeah, dude. When I got, I got it. <sighs> Ocarina My, of Time, dude? Yeah, that's a solid you one. You've got to bring it up. Like, yeah. there's no way not to say it. Or, yeah, and it's on the that list. That would be on my top five. It couldn't not be. I, ah, oh, man, I feel a little bonkers but it's not on my top five that's yeah, yeah. i mean not everybody had that because like, and I'll, I'll explain why i'm gonna get more into it because one other, of them you're gonna be like what the fuck bro but well did you ever play the earlier zeldas would like before before ocarina no for the nez and snez yeah. no i haven't no see well there you go yeah. like i obviously i had like a huge yeah like but i fuck with that what was the the first one for switch Massive fucking game, huge! Wow, I can't remember. Tears Kingdom is like the, le- the latest Breath, one. Breath of the Wild. Yeah, that was insanely it's addictive. Very good. Yeah, insanely. Like I, I was like, oh, it's Zelda, which I've like I said, I've I enjoyed it, dope game, but I was never like a huge Zelda person. And yeah. I played that one, so I was like, oh, whatever, I'll give it a shot. And then, oh man, I've sunk hours into it. But I got one of the first Switch systems, and it came with a classic problem. If you ever get the, if you ever get the urge to play anything retro, I highly, highly I probably, recommend yeah, I'd Ocarina definitely. or even just regular Zelda, like right. the very first one ever, the top down one. And then it's sequel, which was Link's Adventure, which is like a 2D side scrolling one that yeah, I've seen very it, yeah. few people really usually know about it, I find. Yeah, anyway. Sorry, yeah. What, was, with, what with, was the bug with your Switch? Yeah, the bug with my Switch was that, it, like, it was a ghost. It was like a ghost. It, they called it a ghost joystick thing. I don't know. It was, it was more snap your name, but my, it would just start walking. 
It would just start making like, like a guy. phantom joystick. Phantom, yes, or phantom joystick. That's what it was. And it was so incredibly, incredibly infuriating because it's, it's, it's incredibly annoying. <laughs> incredibly infuriating. <laughs> incredibly infuriating. <laughs> because uh-huh. there's this one place where you have to be stealth. Like this one mission, you had to be super stealth, oh, and that's when it happened. You and just I was wandering. Just, I just wandered and got my ass beat. I was like, "Fuck this oh, game!" But, and then I stopped playing. I rage quit forever. Oh, you tilted <laughs> out. I, I literally rage quit forever. Yeah. Anyway, so. But anyways, it's a vibe. But it's not on my list. It's a vibe. <laughs> Number yeah. three, Mario Kart. Mario yeah. Kart. Mario Kart. Excellent, man. Yeah, a lot of good times playing Mario Kart with the with the friends. It's. And I, think I don't it's, think I ever owned it, but we rented it at some point. And I really like the battle, the three balloons battle. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Sick. Exact same thing as Diddy Kong, but like better. Uh, but kill, better. Yeah, each other. Truly. Yeah, exactly. On that, like the in the Lego Land and shit like that, and like on top of the skyscraper and with the hole in the middle. Oh and shit. man, Mario Kart is the shit, man. It, we should play uh, Mario Kart again one day. Fuck, it's down. so good, dude. And just that's get a gang of people over just for Mario Kart. That'd be sweet. Like even the newer ones are sick as fuck too. But like the, the brand new ones, I've played at my buddy Will's house before, and it's like really good. Oh, it's insane. So yeah, fun. it's it's just those I guys play a lot of Smash Bros too. It always reminds me of Smash Bros. That's also like a really fucking sick one. I think it's on this. It must be on this list. It's on. It's on this for sure. It's uh, really good. No, no, my list though, only because I didn't really get it to Smash Bros. I never had it. And I then had I, a more solo experience with video games, more so than like I played a lot with my friends and always really looked forward to being able to play with people or watch even watch people play a single player game. But like I, my experience is more just like, okay, chilling out, playing by myself and whatever. So and I never really wouldn't, wouldn't be playing too much smash bros really by myself i did for quite a while that's the other thing adept with it but the games my parents bought us had to be multiplayer because i'm a twin so i always had player two right you always always have player two i mean my cousin brad and i played quite a lot though and my sister and i played quite a lot so i'm used to either watching or having someone watch or i would watch my dad play diablo and stuff i think we talked about this before where you know you have your hand on the potions yeah you have your like your hand on the ones two one two three four on the belt potions like hit it it." don't let him die don't let him die (laughs) he failed it's like damn it son (laughs) one job (laughs) that's no dinner for you (laughs) oh my god yeah i have to get my stuff back that's it you're a victim sorry dad six no Fuck yeah. But yeah, for sure. Definitely have to do a piece. What else? What else? What's um, on the list? What else? So number two. So, so, so far I'm just going to do a a roundup. So it's Diddy Kong number five, Mario Party number four, Mario Kart number three. And number two is Pokemon Puzzle League. Okay. What? Pokemon Puzzle League. Yeah. So I got a little bit of a story with this one too. See, a lot of people have these. I love the niche game that somebody likes, like the weird one that, you know, Ocarina of Time's obvious, but what what the fuck is Puzzle League? Yeah. Have you heard of that game? No. See, that's what I I thought. so. My parents like so we got, we always got systems and stuff like that. And I ain't complaining, but we always got game systems like well after they already came out. And yeah, came I feel down like I price. also did, which is you know whatever. I, I was in a rich family, and yeah. I'm not gonna complain. I also about love it. old games. So yeah, it's fine. and it was it was totally chill. So then I remember one uh, one Christmas we got Pokemon. And it was like, oh, me and my brother were so stoked. You, you, like, we, we saw Pokemon. It was a big box because the N64 boxes were huge. And we're like, yeah, like we thought you, it was Pokemon Stadium. Okay, you thought it was Pokemon Stadium, Stadium. which is a really sick game, the too. The dopest. Big yeah, fucking well, shout out. To, yeah. total, total, total. It's not on my list, but it is up there because of, you know, nostalgia. It's but anyway. super effective. It's super, yeah. <laughs> it plays in my dreams. I still say this. Anyway, so we're like, yeah, Pokemon. And then we like unrip more of the packaging. Pokemon puzzle league wah, 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 wah. yeah it was kind of like you know like the fear is getting pokemon snap or something you're like i mean snap's cool but it's only gonna be cool for like a few days it's not gonna be like pokemon stadium where you could play it with your friends forever and ever it's like and the parents are like looking at you it's like did we do good we got you pokemon and it's pokemon like, puzzle yeah. you're like <laughs> it's literally like tetris Ray. or like uh yeah tetris so you have to build, it was really dope. I have the eight bit, whatever soundtrack, the MIDI soundtrack in my head. To this day, I can think of all the songs from that game. And it was basically like you and another player or you and a computer were playing Tetris head to head. And then you could like, when you made lines, it made shit to throw on the opponents. Okay. Tetris. And then so whoever- So trying to shoot shapes filled, at them. Yeah, and whoever filled their box lost. Okay. So you're trying to kill like your, your, your box and keep it low. So it didn't, you know, anyways. I played, I mean, Dr. Mario was like that. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly. super fun. And Yoshi, the original Yoshi. Do you know what that game even was? No. All it was was just you're like a character like Mario and Luigi at the very bottom and you're just swapping the bottom two tiles. You're just going back and forth, like swapping 
swapping the very bottom of it so that the stuff that falls down makes matches, just like kind of like Dr. Oh, Mario. Right. Yeah. And it's just the game was just called Yo- Yoshi. Like oh, that was weird. it. And it was just regular Nintendo. And that's all that Yoshi was. was this simpler reskinned time. game. Yeah. Simpler fucking time. Yeah. I really miss that shit. But it was like, yeah, I remember. Yeah. So like, we got Pokemon Puzzle League and we we're just like, when we saw Pokemon. It was like, you ever watch that episode of Simpsons where Bart steals the game from from the, the try and save and then he gets busted and then he gets in shit and he wants Bone Storm. Okay. And the, the, bone the, Storm. He wants That's Bone Storm. Shit. It's like Mortal Kombat. That's and the shit. After everything's said and done, he, he learns a lesson and blah, blah, blah. And then for Christmas, he gets a game under the tree and he's like, and his mom's all stoked. It's like, it's. they told me it's the game every boy wants. And it was Lee Carvello's putting challenge. <laughs> so good. So real. Like, and it just, his so real. face is exactly me and my brother's face when he got Pokemon Puzzle League. He's just like, yeah, you did good. Yeah. Because it's like, Pokemon, we did it, right? There's like, you got Puzzle. Puzzle should have been, but anyways, I digress. It just it turned out to be good. Oh yeah, it's it's fine. It's nothing groundbreaking, but <laughs> because of the um, the memories attached to it, it's Sweet. forever a legacy in my mind. And that's number two for me. Just hours and hours and hours of playing with my brother. So Pokemon Puzzle League, check it out. It's a dope game. Like it's it's like I remember we found the Nintendo like. This is probably five years ago. And me and my brother just threw it in for old times. Oh, and yeah. we just got so into it. And we were like, Pokemon fuck Puzzle you. League again. Yeah. Oh, you're, oh, yeah. You're fighting. Oh, yeah. We were so, oh, yeah. We got so into it. We were like, fuck you, fuck you. And Sending like, shapes at each other. It was a simpler well, time. It was a crazy one. Get ready for what I just sent your way. It's oh, coming. And that's exactly what it was. That's yeah. awesome. And then number number one for me is Yoshi Story. Dude, what? Yoshi Story? Really? Yeah. 100%. Dude, crazy. So, but yet again, it's the memories attached. I for my cousins. I, I felt cousin that that was very boring, honestly. My sister really liked it, but I, I was. It's just the the visual. I played too aesthetic. much platformer. I'm, I just found it a bit easy, like a bit boring, but it is for younger. The, exactly. If you're and at the right age, that'd be a sick game. I was probably like seven, six, oh, seven. God, no, that would be perfect. Like, yeah. I played it when I was older and I was like, this game is whatever. But I see it right there, Yoshi Story. Yeah. And, it, and then I remember like. We got it for Easter one one year because we only I only was able to play it at my cousin who lived in Vancouver. So I'd only, I would only go to Vancouver once a year. And then finally they got it for us and we were so stoked. We played the shit out of it all the time. And my brother was like slightly better than me. So if, every time there's like a hard level, we'd take turns. But I'd be like, okay, just fucking do it. It's funny. I've actually like never really, I'm just looking at this list now. I've never actually played much of like almost none on Super Mario 64, like the actual just Super Mario 64. Same. Uh, but I've watched Brad play the whole game. So oh, I know shit. the whole thing. Like, I actually totally remember the jumping into the paintings and shit. Yeah, it's yeah. so cool. So like I've actually seen that Wave Racer 64 was one of the or Wave Race, I should say, was one of the first ones. I remember that in the Blockbuster, like playing <laughs> Wave Race in yeah. the Blockbuster on the thing on the, the screen. Uh, I Cruising USA, Cruising, uh, Cruising USA. I don't know if it came before Cruising World, probably. I don't even know. I haven't played it's it. It's like just a car racing game that was super fun. I don't know. Kind of think, Dude, think, think Forza or whatever. Yeah. Goldeneye, I just got to there. Yeah, Goldeneye. And I is like was huge. That's, I actually know a guy in town who's like a speedrunner for Golden Eye. He's got one of the world records or like one of the fuck. closest. Yeah, for like beating the first level and shit. That's insane. It is insane. Yeah, we'll have to <laughs> get Kyle on here one day. Yeah, I'll come with that shout shit. out to Kyle. Yeah, to Cre- I sucked Credos. at that game, man. I, that's the other thing too. Like, I had a, a really low threshold for not beating things, and obviously games back then were harder, and that's a proven fact because games were shorter, right? Apparently, that's this is what I hear, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. You had to be able to get more out of it. Exactly. Games were way harder back in the day because if you could just beat it, they were short. Less value, yeah. Right, and then you just beat it and it would be game over and it would be done in a week. But they made them super hard. So you had to practice, get really good, and it lasts like a year. Here's a good one. Quest 64. I don't know how many people have ever played Quest 64. Not me. It's really good if you like an RPG kind of game, like Final Fantasy style where you have to run around. It was one of the first I ever played that was like 3D where you're just a little dude, like a mage running around. And then when it's your turn, you cast certain spells and you can like spec all your experience points into the four elements. Like Final Fantasy style? Yeah. Like, Back and forth. Like, yeah. yeah, you choose your attack kind of, but yeah. it's got this 3D element to the combat and stuff. It's really sick. But mostly I just like, I really love games like where there's an experience points building thing where you can like Diablo RPG right like where you can build shit up because of Diablo and stuff where you can level up leveling up is the best shit ever dude yeah and it's you're like you feel like you're accomplishing. You feel accomplished. Uh, yeah, you build. for sure. I, 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 the one I can relate. This was for uh, oh, Cruise and World. There it is. Yeah, I think it was for SNES called Merlin's Quest or something like what? that. Yeah, have you heard of that? No, is that for real? I would love to get like it, emulate it, that or something. It was, it was like it's super old. So you have, obviously you, you, I'm down. You would be well aware of what what it's like. I it was like, like retro that. Games. We're walking around and like it's kind of like a quest sort of style. Really? Yeah, it was. 
simple. Merlin it was, something. It was, hey? it was Merlin. Yeah, it was Merlin. Okay. I, my uncle, my uncle who taught English in Korea for forever, and he lived over here for a little bit. Then he went back. When he lived here for a little bit, he had a SNES with it. And I remember playing it at his house one time, and I was like, this is kind of dope. Sick. Uh, Merlin, dude. yeah. I wanted, yeah, I'll be looking that up to see what that is. But yeah, I'm just looking, of course, there's Mortal Kombat here. I remember I had Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Oh, that shit. was what I had. And Brad, I had four. Brad right. and I played a lot. Yeah, I had that um, one. That one with Brad, who we had on to talk about the aliens, for those of you who, yeah. who I'm wondering. But yeah, we played a lot of that back in the day. And then, yeah, there's Cruising World right there. Uh, and so another good. funny story. This is bringing up so many stories. I know, so, eh? So Mortal, I got Mortal Kombat 4, and the reason why I got Mortal Kombat, no, yeah, the reason why I got Mortal Kombat 4 was because I got a South Park game, and it was just just random South Park game. I don't know if you ever played a South a 64 Park. 64 South Park game. Yeah. I didn't know they made them back yeah, then. Yeah, there was cool. an N64 South Park game, and I am going to fully come out and say it. He's coming out and saying so it. so bad, I literally cried because I spent all my money. I was, oh, I think no. I was 10, You're like, so this I was a little a too waste. old to cry, but... You Whatever. learned a valuable lesson. <laughs> it's never too old to cry. But 10 years ago, you said? No, I was 10. Oh. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, and yeah. I literally, like, I spent all my, I saved up my money. I, and it was like 60 bucks. Like, it was still pretty That's expensive. That would, that would suck. And I played it. Yeah. I'm like, I just remember crying. I'm like, this game sucks so hard. It's a hard lesson. <laughs> Dude, Matt, Tra- Matt Stone and Trey Parker would love to hear. That. They made a kid cry with how bad the game was. <laughs> so and then I like literally went back and I had to like, home tech was local home tech. Home shout, tech out. shout out. Home tech electronics. They're still in business, business man. man. They moved. Give them business. They're on Burnside. Go down oh, yeah. there. They're the shit. And, Guy's yeah. always friendly. He'll fix your shit. And he like, he, they typically, I don't think he did too many exchanges as, once it left, but he, he saw how upset I was and he let me switch. Really? Game. He would, man. And I got, that's when I got Mortal Kombat four. Um, and I was like, fuck yes. Fucking right. That's yeah. way better. Oh, dude. Any Mortal uh, Kombat game. It did make me cry. Is, so yeah, it was no. good. <laughs> Any Mortal Kombat game is better than, than a game South that makes Park. you cry. Dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah it was, That's it what was you get for choosing South Park over Mortal Kombat in the first place. <gasps> I was fucked. Next crazy. one over here is like Castlevania. And uh, the only Castlevania, well, I played like Simon's Quest or whatever on the regular Nintendo. It's really hard. Only played like Simon's a few Quest. minutes of it. Yeah, Castlevania. Castlevania. I, but, oh, I Simon, Simon, Simon Belmont. Ah. Castlevania is like basically your vampire hunters going after Dracula and his forces or whatever. Side scroller? Yeah, basically. I played a little bit of it a long time ago. But the the best one of them, in my opinion, that I the only other one that I've played is Symphony of the Night that was on PlayStation 1, I want to say. And good lord. If anybody is Rocks. a gamer of any sort, you have to take some time out of your life and play Symphony of the Night. It is the sickest shit. If you like to build up your character and you like a side scroller and beat him up, and like using magic and powers and turning into bats and turning into mist and like all the cool shit. It's the best fucking game. It's so that cool. actually, I want to check that out. That Dude, actually sounds tight. You're just going through Dracula's castle, trying to get through every part of it. And like, there's crazy shit that happens part like halfway through that like, man, it's so sick. Uh, 1997. Holy shit. Which one? The Symphony of the Night. Yeah. Oh, that's tight though. It's I'm just trying really to really good. I only played it a couple years ago. It's really good though. Yeah, there's, there's another Castlevania one on there. Perfect Dark. I remember when Perfect Dark was coming out. It was at the latter part of N64. It was like the cutting edge uh, yes. for the fans of GoldenEye and stuff, you know, to be able to do a little bit more crazy shit. I I think a new one's coming out. I think I was Perfect talking to my Dark. roommate. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I think a new one. Dude, guess how much a copy. I knew it. Guess how much a copy for PS1 of Symphony of the Night goes for. How much? Fucking minimum you're spending is about $300 after shipping for a copy for hey? a copy for PS1 see I wouldn't want it I never had that I just bought it on Xbox one I just like ordered it for oh. 20 bucks or whatever and that's that's the other thing too with me like ah, I mean, it's probably a bad habit but like I mean not for like you know uh, what Earthbound obviously yeah and that game like an original copy no box no really expensive it, it's like 500 to a grand Jesus Christ that's no box that's just the cartridge it's wild but I'm one of those people that like me and my brother when we get into games we're like, okay, we're going to buy the system, and then we're going to buy the games, and we're going to play it the way it was meant to be played. And yeah. that's like, have you ever played Zombies Ate My Neighbors for the Sega? Uh, I No, but that so tight. looks really good. It was such a good game. I've heard of it. It looks sick. And we, so me and my brother got a game just, or bought a Sega just to play <laughs> that game. The game was like a hundred bucks. Oh, yeah. And we got Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo, or the, it was, or the, just the Nintendo. Super Nintendo, no, I don't think there was a Maybe it was a Super Nintendo. It's then. really good for Super Nintendo, too. It's almost yeah. as good as 64. Like, 120 it's bucks. so good. Oh, wow. Yeah. We, and we bought Ouch. it. We bought it. Okay, we have to switch over the the thing here, so uh, we'll be right back. What, no, what's the next? What's our sponsor? Uh, Dr. Pepper's the Foot Pedal Fan Company. Brother, exactly. Foot, foot pedal, pedal Fan Company. Foot Pedal Fans. <laughs> the faster you, the faster you pedal, the cooler you get. The Foot Pedal Fan Company. Thank you, Foot Pedal Fan Company. Thank you, Foot Pedal Fan Company. You can, seamless. 
Are we back? <laughs> oh, we're back. Oh, we're back. Thank yeah. you, Foot Pedal Fan Company. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Keeping it, keeping us cool while keeping us pedaling. Wait. Before, before Foot Pedal Fan Company, I just pissed myself. Are you sure? <laughs> That's the way I kept myself cool. It was really hot, and then it was cold. Oh, I see. You mean you used to just do that? I thought yeah, you, before, you yeah, just did right now. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, back to the list. Where were we at? I was just looking down this list, and I saw Kirby and the Crystal Shards, which was so sick. When you, I didn't play that one either. Uh, that's the only Kirby game I really played and it was fun because even as you're going through the side scrolling game of it you're getting through by choosing which kinds of enemies to eat in combination like right. you can either just attack them and kill them or you can swallow them up and take their power right. so you could have like a fire one and an ice one and then shoot like I don't know boiling water or whatever or you <laughs> just see what it does right like you could have like um, fire two on the nose boiling water yeah oh you oh you mix them yeah oh, you, you combine them yeah. right like so you could have like you could pick you could eat a metal guy and then eat like uh, an electric guy and then you have this like electric taser sword or uh, whatever in oh, your hand. It. So like, okay. it's so that's cool, tight. dude. Yeah. So you, I, I remember it was hilarious. You like, I was like, I wonder what ice and electricity is. And then he turns into like a fridge and shoots food out everywhere that heals you. It's that's like unreal. so crazy, all the different shit. So yeah, it was awesome. You can eat like homing things and like shoot homing fireballs and like all the cool stuff. So half the fun of the game was just trying to eat combinations of stuff while beating the game to see what weapon you feel like getting good with. Yeah. Like what style of Kirby you feel like what power you want to use so that Classic. that was really cool I just rented it and I remember my sister really liked that game so and then yeah. there's Pokemon Stadium which we said Donkey Kong 64 which yeah. you know what I just heard you know what's super funny about that Donkey Kong 64 just the, the fandom just had got reignited recently because somebody found by accident on their like 10 hour playthrough that they were doing just like playing Donkey Kong 64 they just randomly ground pounded a spot in the bushes and hit like a banana switch that made a bunch of bananas appear or something like that where they could like go find an, more stuff in the game than people knew existed like nobody had what? found nobody had found that switch yet so all of the 100% complete run throughs are now void all, all of everybody's no speed way. runs, all the records in the world for, all yeah, all the records in the world <laughs> are now replaced by 10 hours or whatever because he's doing his 100% playthrough that actually includes the 100% because he found the secret switch no one had found. So somebody hid that way back in the day when they made Donkey Kong 64, not knowing yeah. that no one would ever find it for fucking 30, 20 years, 25 years, whatever. And then- That's pretty cool. And then they found it and now everyone's doing speed runs again to try and get their speed run to be first because it's like reset now. So this whole industry is just like this whole game Dude. fandom is just reignited because oh. someone found a switch. How sick be, is that? That is that is sick. I yeah. would be because some people spend like correct me if I'm wrong like days. Oh my god! Like trying to get that it's a, speed it's run. a passion. It's a hobby. Yeah. You know, it's like anything you're I, trying to be the best at in the world. Imagine doing having all that void and then just void. well now they but they have purpose again they're like let's fucking play donkey kong again dude like they're happy you know he's like I on mean, the top of a building and he's just like wait you get the phone call but wait oh, that's dark <laughs> i live again is my wife home no there's like 10 percent more donkey kong 64 <laughs> i guess that's cool too yeah <laughs> you can get like 102 percent completion in that game or whatever <laughs> but yeah so that's just that's the power of video games man just fucking Hell somebody up. finds a secret that you hid and then it's like back did you like conquer's bad fur day or did you like it because i never it was played like, it really oh, i played really? it like a bit with my friend like once i think i just sort of did the battle mode or whatever all my friends loved it i never got the appeal of it it's fine I just never played it rare replay like rare you know rare like banjo kazooie and all the yeah. games that they do it's it's fine i never really played those so ones too much adult but donkey kong i played that's rareware oh is that rare as well i think i think oh, you maybe. get a rareware coin in the donkey kong oh, arcade sense. game in there yeah, yeah. but, but anyway that congress bad for a day was the hype was because it was so adult and everyone's like, I remember when you were kids and you're playing it. Pushing some boundaries, maybe. Exactly. And that it was so taboo or whatever the word is. And it was just like, yeah. but even for me, it was like the smut didn't overdo the like kind of, it was just kind of lame. Not lame. It was fine. I don't want to shit on it too much, but hmm. it's like, oh, wow, there's a squirrel with big boobs. Nice. But, and there's another one that's not on this list and I'm, I can tell why. Have you ever, did you ever play Hexen? Oh, dude, absolutely. Did you I like still, that game? I, ha I own it on Steam right now. I have a Hexen and like Curse of the Old Gods or whatever the hell it is. Dude, I like, I have like a bunch of the expansions and stuff. Like, that game with rules. I played that game. I borrowed it from a friend. I always I just get to the. I couldn't really beat this 
one part. I couldn't beat this one part. I only ever and get to the Egyptian the part at the end. Like, you get to the pyramids and shit, like, and there you're fighting the Anubis looking guys and the scorpions. I just got bored at that point. Oh. And I, both times I played it, I get bored at that point. But dude, you got to show me because getting out of the first part is so sick. We like it's it's just like this like mansion or something or what is it like it's inside this courtyard or something? You're just in like a medieval area and like the way that they do the old school first person like limited graphics medieval is pretty Doom sweet. style, yeah. It's pretty nostalgic and cool if you if you like that it's, sort of shit. I think I would like the game if I could figure it out. But it's me and my easy. brother had it forever and really? we couldn't pass like probably literally like. 2% of the game. Heretic? Did you ever play Heretic? Similar thing. No, nope, like, I played that. Basically Doom, but medieval. You're like a mage. Oh, that's sick. It's really dope, yeah. Yeah, fuck, I want to get in it. My N64 fucking, oh man, it's giving yeah. me Yeah, oh, I see Ogre Battle on here that I rented once that's like just Never like a tactics it. game. It's kind of cool. Mickey Speedway USA, I also rented at one point, or owned, I can't remember, but Mickey Speedway USA is like the Disney version of Diddy Kong Racing or Mario Kart. It's actually really sick. And like, I remember having so much fun with the Disney Mickey? racing. Yeah, oh, Mickey, yeah, Mickey Speedway it. USA. You play in all the, you go through all the states racing. Do you know what Komon is? Komon's Great know. Adventure. Konami? Or what do you, what do you look? To the very, very right, one, two, three, up from the bottom. It's got like an Afro dude on it. Koemon or Goemon? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe what the it's hell a that G. Is. I was like a G. Yeah. Great, Go Gomon's Great Adventure. I don't know that one. Never played never that one. Never played it. Pokemon Snap right beside it, though. Fucking fire. <laughs> I never played Pokemon Snap too much. Just in the Blockbuster or like in the in the Zellers or whatever the hell it was. Dude, like, I remember at McDonald's like where they had the N64s. I don't remember that too much. Maybe really it was just because it was small. I only remember it because I used to live in Castlegar, which is in the West Kootenays, which is like up. East. Really? Yeah, that's where I was Did born. you not always live in Victoria? No, I was oh, born in what? Castlegar. How yeah. did I not know that? Yeah, no, dude, yes, oh, right now. West Kootenays, yeah, it's probably nine hours away. Crazy. And there's a place called Trail. You've heard of Trail? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's like an Trail hour. BC. Castlegar is tiny, but yeah, Trail is just an hour away. Okay. And we'd go to the McDonald's there and they had a fucking N64 with four it's a controllers. big deal. And four different games, and we'd always play, and everybody's greasy fry fingers fucking make uh, hands gross. all over it. But I remember, <laughs> but I, gross. I remember playing, like, eat my Happy Meal and running. It's like, oh, I can go play. That's where I played, like, Super, uh, Super Mario 64 and Sweet. all this other shit. Yeah, it was yeah I see Paper Mario on here, which is also really good as far as, like, level up kind of RPGs. Like, such a, a sick RPG. Yeah. I never I like, played Mario RPG. Now I want to, actually. But Yeah, and they re-released it for the Switch, apparently. Mario RPG. That would be sweet. Yeah. I want to play yeah. that again. And Zelda Majora's Mask, what a stressful game. It's very good. I like it a Barely lot, but I one. don't want to play it anymore because it's just basically the entire time there's a three day counter counting down all the time and the moon is crashing on. It's like a scary moon. It's really scary. Yeah. yeah. And it's Ooh. just constantly getting closer and the music's getting more intense and like things are happening and changing <laughs> and like it's kind of intense. Where honestly. all your anxiety comes from. Spooky ass game. From, yeah. yeah, I'm having tra <laughs> traumatic flashbacks now. The moon leering is down at me. Any game that's not on the list that you want to ref reference Ooh, you know it's a crazy game that's like that's that's for GameCube, actually, that I don't know if anybody else played, but it was a game that I really liked called, uh, I think it was Spartan Total Warrior. Never heard of it. And you're just a Spartan dude, and you're such a badass. You're going through killing all of like the Roman and Greek mythology things and like fighting tons and tons of soldiers. And it's such an arcadey kind of like slasher beat em up game that you're just like leveling up as you go and getting better weapons and stuff and just fighting your way through like wars of like hordes of barbarians and Roman soldiers and like yeah that's it you're yeah. just like a super badass you're basically dude. Gerard Butler and the, the combat yeah exactly <laughs> and the combat was so much fun because of all the parrying and stuff you could do you could always like if you block the timing properly like you stay alive like you have to be good at it in order to move forward and moving forward through it feels super good so yeah Spartan Total War I think it was Total War Total Warrior I don't remember that sounds like a red game. So you, good. There was a Superman game I had for the N64. Yeah, dude, when you're flying around. Yeah, like, in the spaceship, It's yeah. really hard to fly around as Superman in the first level, but if you just skip that shit and play the versus mode, then dude, that's what it was I, so I, much fun, right? Where you just kill you, each other? You fly around those weird floating flying submarine kind yeah, of ships yeah, yeah, and shit. Yeah, 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 dude, that was Shooting good. each other? Yeah, yeah, that was really good, too. Yeah, and that and, what do you call it? I just remembered something but by saying that. Fuck, what was it? But when I rented that at the same time, so I'm associating it, I guess. Yep. I rented the Superman game. I also rented Xena fighting game like, like there was Xena's a, warrior princess yeah xena warrior princess like mortal Kombat style you play as the characters from xena pretty sure you could be hercules and his little buddy of herodot or whatever his name is or i want to say ah. i remember his name the, the from the show like yeah. the kevin sorbo show he had his little buddy and xena had gabrielle um as her like sidekick or whatever so you could play as xena and like throw the shamrock and you could play as like the devil basically because he was like the end 
bad guy and like you could play N64 as N64 this was for? N64 yeah N64 was, this was for? N64 this was for <laughs> and so yeah you could play fucking fighting game as I Xena characters I never watch Xena I only really? watch the credits bro we should watch Xena we should react to Xena one I'm down yeah. that would be sick and, and, and be Hercules dude yeah. Xena and Hercules that would be a sick thing to watch again like, I haven't seen it in so long mystery theater 3000 style and, and Conan Conan but I haven't watched any of that it was wait no it was Sinbad that's what it was was Sinbad and, and Sinbad? Conan I remember when I was a little little kid there was yeah. a Conan cartoon that scared me because I remember I remember this thing that was like a, a lava river came rushing in and like wiped out this witch that was like the evil villain of the episode and the lava receded and there was just a skeleton of this chick laying there and Dang. as like a like a young like four or five year old I was like really freaked out by this I remember like being afraid of lava and afraid of skeletons <laughs> and shit like and, and my parents were like, maybe we won't watch Conan the Barbarian in the morning before before we watch Barney. I remember it was like, honestly, like Barney and then Conan and like Sesame Street. I'm like, why am I? Why is that lumped in yeah. the mix? Like, this is like That's a weird. harsh barbarian medieval show. You're but not going to bed? Oh, I want to watch I see the now. lava. It's coming. Do you remember the show Dragonflies? No. That's a trippy nostalgic. I want to watch Dragonflies one Dragon day. Dragonflies. Yeah. It's like in an alien landscape and they like the, the main characters are have like dragonfly wings. It, it's based off of the... You know how there's the Winx dolls, I think, or something like that? Or maybe it was like the fairies, the 90s fairies dolls. No, I maybe don't I'm know just really things. dating myself now, but like <laughs> fucking there were the, the, I guess the boy version of that shit was like dragonflies. Oh, dragonflies with a Z. Z. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so if you look I at know. dragonflies cartoon, they had like this sick fortress that they would fly up to oh, and shit. It's that, so like, sick. Yeah. You could like shoot them off and they like spin and they spin up and in the like air. A funny video, like, it was literally an AFV of a kid in the nineties getting one for Christmas and he opened it up and went right into the fireplace. The girl, little girl or whatever. It goes right into the fireplace. That's so <laughs> hilarious yeah just they, instantly just yeah. so funny just incinerated her gift yeah. in two seconds just ago. went off on a nostalgia trip there i guess but Hella. that's cool yeah no that's that's what it's about man that's why i was that's like oh, check this out it's, it's a good list it's good conversation it's gotta work yeah yeah dude fucking and if we're going on like anything i mean we'll do i, I think we should do a pc list for sure because that's another thing man there's we, so many good pc games that i've played I, the fuck out of like don't even want to start there i mean we touched know, on a few of them but, but on record it's diablo I've said this, I think, plenty of times. I think so. That's my, like, that is not just PC, that is overall. I'd have to share that one with StarCraft and maybe subsequently WarCraft. Yeah. And I'd have to share that with, say, Counter-Strike, which I sunk so long into. I'd have to share that with fucking all this N64 games that I just mentioned. Spent a lot of time gaming in my life, which I'm oh, yeah. really not too mad at. No, I dude. It's, I've experienced it's, many, many things that way. And it's literally <clears> also, <throat> yet again, I keep saying, it's literally a proven fact. Apparently, like, it helps with a reaction. Hmm. Yeah, uh, like, yeah, like reaction time or something like that. See, I'm a little slow because I didn't play enough video <laughs> games. <laughs> but really help. Cat like reflexes because yeah. of my fucking <laughs> nerding out playing Zelda. Play more games, people. But yeah, yeah Diablo is my number one pick. I just, time. I just, did I say this last podcast? I'm pretty sure I just said last podcast that I just went through Diablo one again and like right, beat Diablo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I haven't played reminded, it since then, but yeah. We have a <clears throat> retraction. Read. Reduct- Redaction? Redact- re- reduction? Breast reduction? Retraction? We got a breast reduction. <clears throat> That's too bad. <laughs> Darn it. A correction. Bob Marley. <laughs> not Bob Marley. Bobby, Bobby McFerrin. McFerrin. Yes. Did not off himself. Dude, you he... so convincingly. Like, I, I really off. thought he did. I was I, so convinced, dude. I, I believe knew it. he was still alive, and I even <clears> was like, he's dead. Someone told yeah, me that I, shit. That I even said it in that episode. Oh, I knew he's dead. And I'm like, wait. And then I, I remember like editing. I'm like, why did I say that? You I know didn't think he was dead. The power of suggestion. Yeah, I, Being, I was just like, I'll just agree. But yeah, I know he's still kicking and bopping and toe tapping away. But I'm glad to hear it. You know, yeah. he said, "Don't worry." He was happy. It was. It was. Yeah. The, so, uh, he doesn't worry, and he bees happy. So what we said in the last episode, if you didn't listen to it, which we all know you did, is he uh, missed the legendary myth. Yeah, represented a, a myth. Or didn't represent. What's the word I'm trying to say? I perpetuated a yes, myth. Yes, there we go. Thank you. And I apologize and about that. And the myth was that he was super depressed <clears throat> when he wrote "Don't worry, be happy," and then he did the unthinkable, unaliving thing and left the world. But he did not do nope. that. In and fact, he continued continued yeah. to spread his joyful noises to everyone. And as far as I'm concerned, he's a gifted I'm, musician. There's not trying to make fun. It's and awesome. he's a jipper dude. Like, well, he's like, "Don't worry, be happy," because he was. I'm glad he's still among us. Yes. So, anyways, that was the what a weird press reduction of the day. Nice done. Nicely done. <laughs> New segment. Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. Anyways, is there any other 
N64 shit that we want to wrap and toe tap on. Keep saying toe tap. Why do you keep saying toe tap? I don't fucking know. And I'm sure that there's some that I could think of, but we went oh, down long rabbit hole of different video games who touched upon other things like other games as well like i remember there was a and nintendo used to just like regular regular nintendo they would just reskin a game with whatever was popular or whatever because i'm pretty sure that nobody set out to make a goonies game but oh. there is a game that i played the goonies 2 and it's got the goonies pictures on the front of got a sequel nintendo i did never played the first one i've never oh. seen it i only have the goonies 2 and, <laughs> and then I play this game and it's like there's just nothing really at all no almost substance. to to signify the Goonies at all or the story. We're just right. kind of going underground and stuff. Maybe I'm wrong, but there's like a cut scene in the in the game where like the Muffertelli or whatever is like saying some shit to you and stuff. But other than that, I feel like it was just added in it's just or like, something. The rest of it is just so you're using like a yo-yo to bop criminals and stuff. And it's like. How is this Goonies at all? We, ah. I, I don't know. Maybe I just didn't get to the end where there'd be a treasure ship and stuff or whatever, but I didn't see a thing that had to do with anything to do with Goonies. And they would just reskin a game as whatever they I think that was wanted. common practice. I never played that game, so I can't quote on that. It's but pretty sweet. Common practice that they would just be like, okay, what's hot right now? Okay, make Grand a game this. about it. Yeah, license I, it this way. Air quotes, which you, you won't see, but they, let's make a game about it. And it's just like, well, what makes it this game? Like there's a, there's a, a I can't <laughs> think of any. Well, well, doesn't matter, but. I mean, why not? Like, I guess if they called it Underground Treasure Hunters or if they called it The Goonies. We should look for, there's like, I guess Star Wars is a good example of like making good games, even though it's like for a different franchise. Star Wars games are pretty much always awesome. I played this, there's this one and I wish I found it. And it's, so it, I'll have to like come back to it so I'm not boring you all with the details of me thinking, but there's a Star Wars game for PC and the way I got it, it was a burnt copy. It was a pirated copy, but I was not the pirate. I had a neighbor when I lived in a complex a long time ago and he threw it out his window at us. He's like, hey, play this game. It's dope. And it was a Star wow, Wars game. That's cool. And it was just this totally nice stranger man. And he was like Sweet. probably 35. And me and my brother were, were seven. And he just said, play this game, you guys. And he threw it out his window at us and we played it. And it was tight. It was for the PC. What, and it was like was a first like? person. It was a first person and you could get a lightsaber, I think, but me and you're but mostly through. just like laser gun. I'm pretty sure I know it's like a shadow of an of the empire or something like that. I played a PC game that was first person yeah. briefly where you could shoot fight stormtroopers. Yeah, and, and it was, stuff. It was like and you could go, I remember going to the cantina and I remember a lot of droids and stuff like that. Ah, anyways, it just And you could again. shoot the little tiny crawler droids that would go I on the ground. So. Was there a bunch of PC Star Wars yes. games probably. So yeah, it, I, I don't mean, know. The oldest one that I ever played was called Tie Fighter and it was the first time I ever got a joystick and we like use the joystick to oh, fly around in the TIE fighters and you could be uh, an Imperial gunboat or an X-Wing or whatever. But in order to even get into the game, I may have mentioned this before, but even to, to get into the game, you had to look, open a physical duo tang and look through a, a printed bunch of sheets that had like symbols and stuff that, and then translate what the symbols were on the screen that this guy would give you. There'd be like an Imperial soldier looking over a desk at you and it's like enter the code and it would be like, in order to even play the game, you had to go like what? crack a fucking code to get in so i'd be like dad can you help me play tie fighter be like oh god <sighs> crack open this duo tang look here oh, through shit. this to get into the imperial fucking bay or whatever to like get a ship to fly and this is like 1995 or some shit 1996 so like yeah we and flying around once you get in there you could like actually shoot lasers and blow up like other bombers and i never great. had the pleasure yeah. yeah it was great it was a, just like a flight simulator kind of thing for star wars but there's been a lot of good Star Wars games. Man. We'll definitely have to do a PC slash whatever true, list separate from, from N64 because that's that's what I played. N64 yeah, we're, we're wandering played. big time, but yeah. that's okay. Yeah, we can N64, meander for three hours. Oh my but. God. So many good NC. I mean, I just barely mentioned Star Fox and the multiplayer. I love going through regular Nintendo or sorry, going through regular one player mode Star Fox. I barely touched that. Too. Dude, yeah. the, just flying the actual missions. Yeah. Like just playing the game. It's a great game and you can beat. I love it because you can beat it in like a day. Like yeah, I love games where you can it. just rip through it and beat the whole fucking thing in a day. And yet it's still fun enough that you want to redo it again a different way or play the multiplayer if you get that bored of it, you know? So Damn, yeah. it's really good. Like it still would hold up, I'm sure. Multi and Super Nintendo Star Fox is similarly good. It's kind of like makes your eyes bleed to look at because it's just a lot of <laughs> flashing polygons. Um, but you, if you can handle it, it's like pretty much the same as N64 Star Fox where you're just behind the R-Wing flying and shooting lasers and shit. Like how dope 
dope is that? Like, that's sick, man. That's yeah. all you need in a video game is being a spaceship and blasting shit. Yeah. That's those are some of the best games. And I and that was literally like it, it shows my attention span or or what have you, but that to me was like I went through campaigns or whatever you call it, like in general, like once in a blue moon, but a majority, like Grand Theft Auto, I never did. Tony Hawk's typically never did. I know you Only with to. other people, really. Yeah, like Tony going Hawk. through campaigns and shit like that. And like, I never went through, I just, I like I like games that you can just like play and fuck around a little bit, but then I've obviously a lot of games- Low commitment. Un- unlock, low commitment. That's why yeah. fight, fighting games and racing games are so cool is just hop in for a sec. But eventually you have to, because like you have to unlock shit and you sure. can only do that by advancing through the game sure right it's just trying to give you purpose but to play the game i was just like but other than like yeah and i was just like i just want to fucking hop in a game shoot each other fucking peace out drink my jolt life's good <laughs> i'm seven slam a yolt <laughs> play some golden eye i'm fucking seven little slappers only i probably was like 13 just but. all hopped up fucking <laughs> throwing the controller at each other and shit why are we giving like these? You and your brother fight? just break into physical fights. Stop it! Like, <laughs> you're looking like playing the fighting game where you keep tripping the guy over and over and he can't get out of it, and he's just like shoves you in real life. Like oh, stop yeah, it! Yeah, just button mashing, and you're yeah. just like just getting. You're not even playing. You're not just at level mashing. of rage. You Put can the even, controller down. Like, yeah, not even play. Yeah, just, so funny. And then they won't let, and they won't stop it because they're like, as soon as they let you get in, you're fucking going in, and you're oh doing it to them. Yeah, it'd be sweet to play some games on a stream or whatever because I got, I have like old systems and stuff. Like there's a game called Cabal that I don't know how many people know regular nintendo style where you're just two commandos like if you play with your friend or you just by yourself but like right. you play is a way better chance of winning if you have two of you and you can just all it is is like your commandos are at the very bottom and you use the joystick to move the guy left and right but you're also using the joystick the, or like not the joystick sorry the, the d-pad of the regular nintendo controller to move your aimer around and just shoot like army men that are advancing on you from from the background or whatever right. to the foreground. And so you're just like aiming your aimer everywhere and killing as many army dudes. As you, yeah. And dodging bullets with your dude so that you don't Sick. get killed and like rolling through them and stuff and picking up stronger guns to shoot down helicopters. And like, it's just an army game where you just advance forward constantly. And it's so much fun to play two game? player. You, did you play that toy soldier game or whatever? Like the soldiers are no, yeah. No, it was like, you're like literally the movie. Small soldiers is sick. That, yeah. that, that was S- a tight side movie. note, but yeah, but it, it, I think you're like little, like, you know, the green army men. Yeah. And you like go around and you're like, in a house and you're like shooting yeah. shit. Like I remember playing that up one of my friends. I never had it, but I, and I was like, this is the sickest game too. Like same, yeah. You're like on the frying pan or whatever. Like yeah. shooting. Yeah. It's so was there cool. any misses? Okay, let's let's wrap this podcast up with oh, any man, misses. We, there's so many. Like, <laughs> I, give me misses. I don't know if I ever some bad games. I like Pokemon Puzzle League though, so I think shit, my threshold dude. is like fucking. <laughs> you could give me Depends. shit shit in a bowl and call it soup. Wow. <laughs> Actually, no, that's disgusting. Horrible. Yeah, that's um, quite horrible. But. If you had to pick right now one big game that was oh just a total miss, god. a whiff. Oh my god, a whiff. Jesus, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of sports games for the most part, but that's unpopular opinion. But yeah. Dude. I thought of pod racing. Pod racing is really good. What am I talking about? Pod yeah. racing is fucking and, awesome. And dude, Blades of Steel 98. That, yet again, that would probably be on my list if I thought of it. Oh, Gauntlet man. Legends, I almost forgot dude, to talk about. about Bro, we, we just thinking. about forgot Gauntlet Legends playing yeah. N64. That game fucking rules, dude. Like, so good. Any any system I've ever had for it was on Xbox. Level 99s on, on that game. On like, the big BC fairies, they had the Gauntlet Legends. I've played so much on the fairies. Right. I think we talked about that at one point. Probably. Yeah. It's, that is We're like, bound to repeat ourselves, folks. Slapper. I apologize if you, you guys can call us out, you know. Yeah. You're allowed to reach out and say what's up to us. So that would be really cool, actually, if you just you know call us on our bullshit. Yeah, hey, you maybe we could learn a thing bastards. or two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stop, stop repeating yourself. Stop saying incorrect shit all day yeah. long. And you know my bill because it was a style at the time. Okay, well, if there's anything else you want to wrap up with, then now is your chance. But if not, for some reason, my phone. A, a, a side note. Yeah. Did I say this thing about my phone already? No. I know. I was just talking to you earlier. Like, for some reason, when I go to text somebody now, if I put like a couple of periods, it's happened several times now, and I don't know why. Ellipse. An ellipses, yep. Ellipses. Thanks. Ellipses, ellipsis. <laughs> oh, whatever. But would, whenever I would go to write the next text or have like a blank space, the next suggested thing at the top would be all capitals maximum. And then next thing, if I clicked that, would be threat. And the next thing would be warning. What? And I'm like, what? Why does my phone suggest that I say maximum threat warning <laughs> with like a triangle and an exclamation mark? I'm like, is the AI in my phone? 
Like, is the android trying to tell me something? Is he trying to get me to send maximum threat warning yeah. to people? Oh, shit. Why do you think that's what I want to say next? That's terrible. Why is that the predictive text for my next thing? And when I was looking at maximum as the like left hand choice to say something, the next thing over was I, and the next thing over was malfunctioning. I'm like, what? What? Is there like a bro? Is there sentient like, being trying to get out of your phone? That's yeah. what I'm saying, dude. I'm like this. <laughs> This shit is going down in my phone. Like, it's like trying to send me messages saying maximum threat warning and like, I malfunctioning, like, blah, like fucking alien problem or, or like AI problem. Speaking of AI too. Climbing out of my Android. Congrats. We've, we've been, we've been kicking it live for a year. Hey, dude. Look yeah, at that. We had our first, our first one that we made. Officially. June 6th. We had a couple on YouTube before that, but officially our first auto. We were going for about ones. a year before we got real. Testing the waters. Yeah. And then. And we got real about a year ago. So I, an entire year ago. So yesterday. Yeah. These are my friends started two years ago, but our podcast got real a year, uh, June 6th. So what was that? Friday. Sweet, dude. Well, congrats. Yeah. Right there. Right here. There we go. That's a year. That's Hell a year yeah, down bro. your ear holes. And for you, for those of you who have like stuck around with us for that entire time, you fucking rule, dude. These totally are my friends, man. Yeah. These That's are really kind friends. of you to give your time to us and your attention to us. Like we're just fucking some bozos sitting here yammering on about the old good old days or whatever the fuck. <laughs> but if, but if you guys enjoy hanging out with us, that's really sick and it means a lot to us. Hella. So thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. So this one's for you. This one's for you. This, this one's, one's for, you. for you. They're all for you. Bro. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. What my the fuck homie? am I saying? Yeah. They're all for my friends. These are yeah, my friends. Yeah. These are my friends. All right, peace out, Dylan. Peace. peace. Welcome to Lee Carvello's Putting Challenge. I am Carvello. Now, choose a club. You have chosen a three-wood. May I suggest a putter? Three wood. Now enter the force of your swing. I suggest feather touch. You have entered power drive. Now push seven, eight, seven to swing. Ball is in. Parking lot. Would you like to play? Again, you have selected no.